Hi, this is Java Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Java Server Faces 1.2 in Eclipse. Right click, select New, Other. Under Web, select Dynamic Web Project. You can choose any project name you want. Check Generate Web.xml, then click Finish. Right click to the project, select Configure, Convert to Maven Project. Click Finish. Click on palm.xml to edit the file. Just remove unnecessary part and add. Dependencies tag. Go to Maven repository website to get the dependencies. There are three dependencies to be added. The first one is JSF API 1.2. Copy and paste to the file. The second one is JSF implementation. Version 1.2, update 15. Copy and paste to the file. The last one is Java Server Pages standard tag library. Version 1.2 Copy and paste to the file. Go to Project menu, click Clean to clean and build the project. Maven dependencies will be added to the project build path. Under Web Content, Web Inf, open web.xml to register Faces Sublet. Choose a name for the sublet. Sublet classes javax.faces.webapp.faces sublet. and the file sublet mapping. Sublet name must be the same as above. To prevent access without being processed by the face of sublet, we can use UIL pattern. Right click to web in, select new, other. Create an empty XML file, animate faces minus config.xml. Go to Google and search faces config.xml 1.2. Go to Oracle website. Copy the example and paste to the file. You control spay combination to active intelligent feature of Eclipse. We need to register manage bin. Choose a name for the bin. And register bin class.
and the file scope for the bin. The file navigation rule to specify how to navigate from one page to a set of other pages. From view ID is optional. If there no from view ID, the navigation rules apply for all pages. A navigation rule can contain zero or more navigation cases. From outcome is a criteria to determine the page to navigate to. Right click to the project, select new, class. Name and package must be the same as registered in facesconfig.xml. We need a private property and a set of accessor methods. Right click. Select source, generate getter and setter, just select all, then click OK. Write a method to handle navigation. It's a public method with no parameters and return outcome to determine the page to display next. Right click to the project, select new, JSP file, and name it, hello.jsp. Clear all content, and declare JSF tag libraries. Press Ctrl space to choose the URL from the list. In this example, we need JSF core and HTML tag libraries. The view tag is the container for all JSF component tags on the page. JSF form renders an HTML form. Input text to render an HTML text box. Expression language is used to communicate with managed bin. Command button to render an HTML submit button. Action is the action method in minus bin. Create another JSP file. And emit welcome.jsp. In this file, we don't need form tag, we just use 
output tag to render basic text on the page. To check Java build path, right click to the project, select properties. Click Java build path, select JRE under library, click edit. Go to window menu, click preferences. Server runtime environment, edit Tomcat server. Make sure that Java Runtime Environment is the same as Java Build Path. Clean and build the project. Right click to server, click add and remove to deploy application, then click finish. Start the server. Open web browser and type. Enter your name, then click say hello. Congratulations, 